Hi, I'm Mohamed Moti from the uh, Sorbonne University and Saint Antoine Hospital in Paris, in France. Uh, and it is my great pleasure today uh, to give you uh, a brief overview about uh, uh, the data I have presented uh, at the last uh, ASCO and EHA 2023 meetings. Uh, and this is related uh, to the use of anti-BCMA bispecific uh, uh, antibodies in uh, relapse multiple uh, myeloma. Uh, these are my disclosures. Uh, and just for the sake of introduction, I'd like to emphasize the amazing and incredible advances we've seen in the field of multiple myeloma over the last 50 years or so. But definitely in the last three to four years, we've seen an amazing acceleration when it comes to immune therapies and the introduction in clinical practice of CAR T cells, but also the T cell engages or bispecific uh, uh, antibodies. And these agents are really making a big difference in the life uh, of many patients. And all of this is about how to uh, modulate, how to drive the immune response of the patient, uh, him or herself, in order to eradicate, to get rid of the malignant plasma cells. And you can do this uh, through two technologies. Either you collect the lymphocyte of the patient, the T cells, you manufacture them, you engineer them in uh, vitro in the lab, and then you generate these famous CAR T cells, and then you infuse them back, like you know, you're sending soldiers to the front, and then they'll do the job. Or you can do this by using drugs, agents, antibodies, which can target actually uh, two antigens, two targets. One is a malignant antigen. Here in our case, it's going to be the BCMA, B cell maturation antigen, but also uh, they would target CD3, which is in another way, then you can capture the T cell, and then take it to the malignant plasma cell to uh, kill it. And this is really a true revolution uh, we are seeing today in the field of multiple myeloma. And there are many, many agents under development. I will not go into the details of the technology, but it's a very flexible technology. It's like sort of a Swiss knife uh, of uh, uh, cancer. And here, what I have presented at ASCO and EHA is related to a specific bispecific antibody called Erranatamab. And you can see on uh, this schema uh, how uh, this uh, uh, BCMA CD3 bispecific antibody can on one hand link the T cells, and on the other hand, it goes and link it to uh, the surface of the malignant plasma cell and that will induce a cascade of tumor cell uh, killing. And I have shown the results actually of uh, the long-term or extended follow-up of a large cohort, 123 patients, median age 68, uh, up to age 89. You can give these antibodies uh, up to really uh, old age, including in frail patient, and these are patients with the majority who received all other available agent, and they were all refractory to the last line of therapy. And what's really uh, impressive is the high response rate, including complete remission. One third of the patient, 35%, achieved complete remission, including stringent complete remission, but also very good partial responses. And you can just uh, see here uh, the uh, continuous responses we see uh, with longer follow up. And a key uh, finding about this study is that the duration of response is really very important. And the median, what we call progression-free survival is not yet reached. And interestingly, actually, roughly after six months, uh, you can switch into uh, twice monthly dosing and 80% of the patient will continue 
to uh, keep, to maintain the same response. And this is why we have, as you can see here, uh, some very nice progression-free survival, but also overall survival uh, curves, which uh, are really uh, very, very promising and attractive, especially that the safety profile appears to be rather good, very low rate of CRS, usually mild. And when it comes to infections, they do exist. However, uh, one can manage them, one can anticipate and can monitor this. And I think it's very important to pay attention to the different uh, prevention measures that one needs to put in place when using these antibodies. So in summary, uh, in this work, we could show uh, that this a new bispecific antibody called aranatamag is highly effective, very well tolerated, very high response rate, durable responses. Uh, the uh, median PFS or OS are not yet reached. The short-term toxicities are manageable, uh, but also and uh, an important piece of information, as I mentioned, is that you can uh, actually switch from uh, uh, weekly to twice monthly uh, dosing after six months, and that will uh, actually uh, will not impact the efficacy, but also likely decrease the incidence of uh, side effects. And all of these uh, data are really promising and we believe uh, that this agent will be a key player uh, in the field of multiple myeloma in the near future. Thank you very much for your attention.